Boeing car company says it has successfully completed the first ever manned test of a two seat electric aircraft or EV toll in the US. Derone Aerospace's H1, which has already completed more than 50 test flights, is expected to have an initial range of up to 60 miles. It's expected to reach speeds as high as 140 miles an hour, and it could be available for customers by 2025. But the cost will price most of us out in the beginning. $350,000, folks. Daron Merdinger is the CEO of Daroni Airspace, and he joins me now. I want to thank you for your time here. This is pretty exciting news for you. Can you tell us about the test flight just to start off? Yeah, hi. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, well, um, we're all excited. Um, we started flying, I think we did over 60 flight tests um, a couple of weeks ago, but really... Uh, me sitting inside, I'm the first guy that actually flew it um, with the support of the team. Um, we have an um, unbelievable team. Well, it was uh, The feeling was, you know, second to none. It's, it's just sitting on clouds, basically, just very soft, um, very low vibration if you compare it to any other aircraft like helicopter. Um, just think about, you know, sitting in a, in a big drone, right? I mean, this is really uh, based on that technology. And uh, all electric, um, uh, just amazing experience. I mean, we are uh, overwhelmed, even I'm better than what we Looking at the photos, I mean, it looks it looks like that. It looks so peaceful, like it's gliding through the air. And you know, but for people who don't know, what is the difference between a flying car and an EV toll that we're looking at right now? So it's a good question. Essentially, the flying cars. You know, this is really um, this is how the name started. Back the day, I think, what Chichi Chichi Bang Bang and you know <laughs> um, Jetsons and all the other vehicles. Um, then the name changed to uh, EV Toll, which is electric vertical takeoff and landing. Uh, at this point, there are three main categories, um, and we are in one of the categories for personal use, basically. So this is a situation, if I'm getting it correctly, that it has wheels. They can take off, like you're moving on the ground. You can take off, and uh, you're in flight, and that's different than say you can lift off move and then land back down right like this this has the wheels yeah it, it has the wheels the wheels are used for basically taxiing you know you okay. know finding a spot to park a couple of yards uh we're not basing our transportation on wheels essentially at this point we see the world is going wheelless mm -hmm. it's obviously will take time but this is the point this is the direction and then you just go vertical immediately you don't need a runway and you also land vertically so you go up and down in, in our case three clicks of a button, and you know you're already up there you control very intuitive very easy to use mm -hmm. um not three clicks of a button and, uh, okay i mean it's quick and I, you mentioned time, and I want to really start, like hone in on that because we've been hearing about flying cars. I know this is different, but we've been talking about flying cars for several decades. So what has been the biggest challenge in making this happen, this kind of experience that you just had of, of smooth, low vibration travel like that? Right, right. So this is, this is definitely a good question. Um, so, you know, the, the, we knew flying cars were coming. We were all, you know, everybody saw those futuristic movies and futuristic movies at, cent at a certain point becomes a reality. Um, the question for us and such, definitely for me when I started is how, what will be the propulsion system? And since I, I saw the drones, uh, you know, those uh, quadrocopters, just four motor propellers, and for me, the personal experience, I was stuck in a traffic jam and, you know, like frustrated, like all of us, you know, sitting there. And I saw this kid playing with a drone and I saw it so accurate how, you know, it moving from vertical to horizontal. So this is based on a drone. So it's all electric. In our case, we have 10 motors instead of four. Mm. Eight will take us vertically um, for redundancies as well and, and two pushes in the back. Okay. What happens, or I should say, what needs to happen before we see EV tolls everywhere? How does this go mainstream? Um, from the research that we conducted, basically most, if not all, let's say most form of transportation like aircraft, you know, like cars, you know, before the car was, you know, bugging a horse, right? Um, mm -hmm. People didn't see the coming, but eventually all these started as niche players and they, be, they gradually became main form of transportation. We expect um, an EV toll. Again, there are three categories. I'm talking about our, which is a personal use one, mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, to, to become part of our daily life. It will start, you know, for more uh, rural areas like suburbans, uh, you know, open places, 
and then gradually it will go into the main cities. Uh, we are not targeting the main cities like Chicago, New York, or Miami at this point. There is enough other places to fly comfortably and enjoy sightseeing. All right. Well, here's a big question for you. Are you still on track for commercial sales by 2025? And, and who do you see as customers? Yeah, so we, we definitely feel uh, we are on track. Um, again, a big milestone for us would actually to, to fly it. I think to our understanding, we are the only one or the first one in the U.S. who actually flew a man, you know, such a vehicle for personal use. Um, we, uh, the, the customers, we have already over 300 uh, requests for, uh, for orders. Um, we have already people who already put deposited. We, we have the doctors, we have, you know, businessmen, uh, it just all walks of life. Uh, people obviously have can afford it, but mm -hmm. people want to enjoy life and they already have, you know, all the cars they want. And this is another type of vehicle. Daron Mertinger is the CEO of Daroni Airspace. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, congrats on that milestone. And listen, I'll be I'll be looking 2025. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how this all expands. Thanks for the time. We will be there. Thank you for having me. Thanks.